Hi everyone, it's Kat, and today I have a process video to share with you. This one is pretty quick and easy. This is a picture of my son and his friends. Um, they went out the other night to celebrate one of the, the girl in the picture to celebrate her 21st birthday. And they went bowling first, and then after they were done bowling, they went to a bar and everybody got kind of wasted. And that is why the title of this page is To Be Continued, because... This was just the first part of their night. So as you can see, I kind of gutted out the middle of that background paper and then matted it with that black paper. And then I'm going to use the back side of the background paper as my bottom layer. And you're gonna see me fuss around a little bit with some of the six by six pages. And I'm just gonna cut them and mess around trying to figure out how I want to do some. Uh, I just wanna do a few layers, not a lot. Um, but I had a hard time figuring out how to do them. So you're gonna see me kind of mess around a little bit with that. So if you look at the photo on the very left, that guy in the gray shirt, that's my son's best friend, Mike. And next to him, the little guy in the black t-shirt, that's my son, Justin. And next to him is Mike's wife, who was Felicia and she just turned 21. And then the other two boys are other friends of theirs. And so I really like this picture of them. Justin doesn't get his picture taken very much, and he never, ever goes out. I'm always trying to get him to go out and do stuff with his friends because he just doesn't like to go out a whole lot because, you know, he's a recovering addict, and he's just not much of a drinker, and um, he tries to stay away from all that kind of stuff, you know. But this was his best friend's wife, and he really wanted to go and, and celebrate with her. So as you can see, I cut two triangles by folding up a, a piece of paper in half in half diagonally and then just cutting it and I'm going to use those as like um what do you call those photo corners I guess sort of on that that blue or turquoise layer and now I'm actually going to figure out what I want to do with my layers and I'm just going to layer two different pattern papers I'm going to first use this black which I really love the pattern on that black paper right there. I'm not sure what the pattern is called. It kind of looks like quatrefoil, but it's not. I think it's something else. But um, So I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to find a piece of this pink paper that is an ombre, and it has a little bit of a pattern in it. And I'm going to use that as the main photo mat, or top layer, if you will. And I, I usually wouldn't use pink with a bunch of boys in a picture, but this was this layout is for her. I'm making two layouts for her birthday, um, and you'll see the other one next. That's the next one that I'm going to do. I still have to process it or edit it, and I can't talk this morning. I still need to edit the video and do a narration, but this is one of two layouts that I'm making to give to her for her birthday. Okay. So now I've got some foam tape, and as you can see, I'm running out of foam tape, and I've got another roll, one of those big, huge rolls, but I'm just surprised at how long this thing lasted me. It's lasted a very long time. My, my best friend Alicia and I bought um, two rolls at the same time, and I'm just now starting to run out, so... Okay, so now I'm going to put the title down, which is To Be Continued, and I'm using these thickers to do that. And then there's a couple of tags that came with the collection, it, like it's one of the embellishments for the collection, and I'm going to use two of those tags up at the top right corner, and I'm just going to cut them in half so that I can tuck them under the layers and I added a little just a little bit of adhesive just to make sure they don't move and now I've got a flare button from fancy pants and the flare button um, is it's like really huge the fancy pants flare buttons are not the normal one inch flare buttons they're really big which is okay I like that that's fine with me so now I just got a little round sticker from the sticker sheet and I'm gonna put that up there next to the tags And I'm just uh, distressing it with the weathered wood distress ink. And 
And then I got two little stickers from the sticker sheet that comes with the collection. And I'm going to put one at the top left and one at the bottom right. And I'm, oh yeah, the last thing I'm going to do is add some enamel stars. And these are by Teresa Collins, and I picked these up at Joann's. And they have them in like every color imaginable. They're just gorgeous, and I, I need to go back and pick up some more. But that's my layout. Here's a close-up. There's a photo at the end. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.